there there. You definitely do not want to hit the Today, the highly anticipated Live Golf Series officially launched, and fans around the world are wondering if it will continue to fracture the professional sport. Yeah, this is pretty messy. Um, I don't remember anything kind of this uh, divisive. As live golfers teed off in London, the PGA Tour issued a letter announcing the suspension of 17 players. It includes big names like Phil Mickelson, Kevin Na, Louis Oosthuizen, and Dustin Johnson. That means come September, when the President's Cup comes to Charlotte, any of those players who would normally qualify to play in the team event will be ineligible. Dustin Johnson, for example, who's one of our leading American players, you would assume is always a lock. Uh, for the President's Cup. Now that he's made the transition to the Live Tour, you know, I've got to wonder. I hope he's there, but, um, you know, it's not going to be a sudden stand like it typically would. Well, I guess it's a bummer uh, if you want to see, you know, those particular golfers. But I think the large events like that tend to draw the big crowds anyway. While there's a lot of unknown about what will happen during this free agency disruption and subsequent suspensions, PGA Tour reps tell Queen City News ticket sales for the President's Cup are sold out for Friday and Saturday and nearly sold out for Thursday and Sunday. That would bring roughly 40,000 fans a day to Quail Hollow. It's kind of a unique time for it to become a team sport and um, it does, from what I gather watching President's Cup in the past, brings a lot of the country together.